the weekend is approaching, and who doesn't want to kick back, relax, and laugh? Actor, com actor and comedian David Koechner is back in Atlanta tonight, Thursday, and Friday and Saturday. And he's here to join us. Thanks for joining me. Hello, Banksy. <laughs> Welcome back to Atlanta. Thanks for having me. So you're here in town doing your show again. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about it. The show is uh, pretty much like fireworks, emotional fireworks. <laughs> you won't leave uh, the same person. Really? This yeah. is going to change? It will change person? lives. Yeah. It'll change life. Really? No, it's just a fun show. I, uh, I, I do everything. I tell jokes. I tell stories. Uh, I do songs. Yeah, you do like to just burst out in song. Randomly. Yeah, but this one, awesome. these are written songs. One of them being the dirtiest song ever written. Uh, let's try, should we sing it here on the air? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think Thanks. you have to go to the show. You got to go to the show to see that one. That's kind of one of those show things. But it's it's a fun show. It's kind of a barn burner. I like it. So this is your second time back in Atlanta for. For, for shows, for I did stand shows. Up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've I've spent some time in Atlanta. I'm an honorary citizen. We shot Anchorman here. Right. Uh, in '99, I shot Run, Ronnie, Run here. Uh, I did Emory, uh, the Emory University, mm -hmm. uh, a year ago or so. So I, this feels like home to me. Gosh. That's good. That's a good feeling. It feels it's like a home. Cold this time of year. Than Cold's it was awesome. Last year. I grew up in Missouri, so cold. I'm, You're used to it. Yeah, I'm a friend of the cold. You've got your hat. Got my hats on. You're ready. I'm ready for it. You're Thanks. ready for it. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me a little bit, how is this show going to be different than the last one you had? How do you prep for these shows? Uh, I think this is all new material. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd have to go back through the old running order, but I don't think, I think by and large it's all new stuff. Mm -hmm. And how do I prep? Well, I already, I've already memorized it. Uh, so I've been doing this show this whole fall. I've been, been going throughout, where did I go? Indianapolis or Bloomington mm -hmm. and Buffalo and Rochester. Now Atlanta. This is the only one I actually had booked long term. Yeah. This is the one I would circled on my calendar You're a while like, back. You're like, this is important. Yeah. Must this, mm -hmm, go. Mm -hmm. The Atlanta Improv is my first time there. They yeah. they tried to get me there a couple times, and I just didn't have uh, a scheduling conflicts. So that's why I booked it early to clear everything out of the way because I love Atlanta so much. Atlanta, I love you so much. <laughs> well, Atlanta has a. I love you so much. He's, he loves you. Atlanta, go out with me. Atlanta. We'll see. We'll see if we can get you some. Was dates that too cloying? Was that begging? Was that what was that? Was that cloying? Was it begging? Was it condescending? Well, let me make up for it. Maybe, let me try this. Maybe you can give these Atlanta people some advice. Okay. Atlanta, I don't mind seeing you. That's my other tactic. Yes, give somebody advice. Okay. I love giving advice. Atlanta is. Film industry is really booming here. We're shooting shows. Obviously, you know we're shooting movies. A lot of people are trying to break into the business. What advice can you give them? Well, uh, if you haven't been in class, get in class so you know what you're doing. Uh, get on stage mm -hmm. as much as you can. Uh, do plays. Audition, audition, audition. Read Outliers, which is uh, by Malcolm Gladwell. Talks about the 10,000 hours theory. Mm -hmm. uh, dr uh, read uh, The Art of War. These are all things that help incubate your mind mm -hmm. with a good uh, ideas and process of what it takes to be that genuine artist you want to be. You don't expect to just show up and like, I'm here, let's go. Right. You have to put some time into your craft. We live in an age when people get famous on YouTube just because right. they're silly. And just because some 12 year old boys and girls really think you're great and you get millions of hits, doesn't mean that's going to translate into a real career. Everybody wants it to happen fast. They don't necessarily want to be good, they want to be famous. And that's something I don't quite understand. Because I'm neither good nor famous. Well, I'd say date the, me, Atlanta. Date me. The one thing yeah. about you, you are, you know, yes. you've had a lot of great movies. People recognize you when you walk down the halls, when you Did go you out. Did you hear what about. she said? Yeah, I'm sorry. Great movies. What's going on? <laughs> you do a lot of great movies, and people yes. recognize you. But you're humble. You're always working on something. You're always working on your craft. Right. That's true. So that's, that's true. Stand-up's part of that. Mm -hmm. Every time you go out and do a show, you get better. I've mm -hmm. always believed that. I've been doing live material for 25 years, and uh, starting with doing improv. Every time you get on stage, you get better. I still do improv right. in Los Angeles with a group of guys that I've known for 20 years. Mm -hmm. You always get better.